gorgeous. No. I got one of these too. What is it? Why would we both need one? Why do we need a calculator? Let Why? Me that. No, babe, it's not. No, calculator. babe, what the? Mark. What the hell? You look amazing. Oh, I've got to teach Spin after this. Babe, Jesus. are you going to teach it now? Yeah, this is my new Lily Lemon kit. Good, isn't it? Oh, I, I love I, this. No, Where's no, this no, from? No, this is like a dish rag. No, no, that's very good. Babe. It's because I've got an Ali Mat look on. You must wear this. No, when we burn you, you'll wear this. Not to Valhalla. Babe. I mustn't. Your hair. You washed it. Well done. I've washed finally, it, finally. I'm so, so scared of washing it. Thick. Babe, I'm mesmerised by you. Oh, will you stop it? Bravo. Good work. Um, I just thought I couldn't be bothered to put an outfit yours. on and then put my other outfit on to teach. The colours are yours. Those are your colours, baby girl. Stop it. No, really. Wow. Well, you look like a lady on the prairie. <laughs> A gorgeous I'm lady. I'm in my era of the prairie. Aren't yeah, I? you are in yeah. the prairie era. And I, I love that for you. I was like in my crop top era. Yeah, that little crop come tops. Back. Yeah. It's a bit cold. Yeah. Look, you. I hope you're happy because all of you party pooper fun sponges. Yeah, I can't wait to put my puffer on. And I, I can't. Oh, I can't wait. It's making me cross. Like, babe. You better be happy now. Your Uniqlo puffer. You're excited about that. I would rather be in my bikini. I no. can promise you that. No. Yes. Well, you must book another holiday then. Babe! This is not a calculator. This is what directors of oops, companies get. This is so that we can have online banking. It'll give us a code when we put right. our card in. I You'll then have oh. to verify the code oh. online. I didn't quite understand it, but it's something like that. Raw anyway. has one of these and I look at it. Oh, well, Raw will difficult. know what to do. Yeah. Thank goodness for Raw, our Raw. It tells you everything here. I did our VAT yesterday. It's all kicking I off, I saw honestly. the email come in. Tick, tick, tick. Well By done, the way! Bravo. Yeah! Okay, we need to talk phones. So, this. Oh, you're getting a new one. Where's this? I've got a new one. This is a new one now. From when? From St. Colin. This weekend? He got a new phone, so I got his hand-me-down. But can we talk about this yeah. case? Yeah. I just saw um, another one, a version of it. I've saved it on my gram because I need to show you it because I wanted so, it. So sorry, this is a brand you? new phone. Yeah, of course. Is this a brand oh, new? Oh, well, kind of brand new, not really brand new. He had it for what, like. What number is it? It's a. 13, 14? 13 Pro. No, 14 Pro. That's the same as me. I think I had a 13 Pro. Max. It's a big one. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's so big. big. Head, yeah, it's, it's so big. Joke. No, it is too big. Can I show you this phone case that I want? And also, then I need to show you my lock screen, guys. No, my, not my lock screen. My screen saver. Sure. Is that what it's called? Your Home screen. This is what I want. This, this, this. That's exactly Isn't the same that me? Place. Yeah. I'm pretty, but I cry a lot. Yeah, get it. Then we can be matchy matchy. No, I'm pretty cool, but I cry a lot. Not pretty. Oh, well, you are also <laughs> pretty. I'm pretty, but I cry a lot. I cry a lot at the moment. Bloody hell. Me too. And well, then all comes out. Yeah. You cried yesterday. Guys, and this morning, it's Mercury. Why did you cry this morning? Oh, just because I like went to therapy and like you know I've just. How like, was therapy? I'm just like really terrified of people leaving me. So. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's good. Let's tear it all. <laughs> Get it all out. All the daddy issues out the table. You get to the crux of it and it's just a fear of abandonment. Yeah. Well, there's a lot more to it. But, but that I feel is like one you knew that. Things. Yeah, I did, yourself. but like, I did. But like, I think I'm having it with you. This is what I wanted to talk to you about. We're getting to that stage that I used, to, I, I had it with Raw. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's because we've been update on the ring situation but we've been talking about it a lot and i think you it's and Rob. yeah and i think it's putting the fear of god on me yeah of god on me yeah why the fear of god because i'm so terrified of people leaving me but that's him staying babe yeah, that's him picking know, to stay babe people walk out on their wife and four kids like it could happen whenever i know no I'm... if i think about it too much it will make me vomit that is my deepest fear is people that i love leaving me but and then like... avoiding it doesn't avoid it no of course you know of course you've got to go head first i think you've got to go head first you've got to you know we could get this hit by a bus I tomorrow know, and then we leave raw what will he do then you know <sighs> good question and no one consciously wants to leave anyone i don't think <laughs> oh my god speak of the devil <laughs> hi babe hi did you call uh no yeah you called me about what <laughs> i know you're filming you called me <laughs> I couldn't even do my owl voice. I couldn't think of what our voice was then. Bob! Bob! If you go too high for me, I can't do it. Bob, um, I just called to tell you that you left some skid marks in the loo. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course I did. Yeah, you would never. You, you've think. seen that bleach by the side of the toilet, so haven't you, Bob? <laughs> if, exactly. if, you, if you could scrub. Well, even though I didn't go to the loo, it's magic. <laughs> you didn't go to the loo this morning. Are you okay? Concentrated. Yeah, I normally have a big fat dump in the morning, Raw. Christ. Guys, I did a poo this morning. I looked. I have work to do. Raw, I did a poo this morning and I looked down and it just wasn't there. Have you ever done that? Just charming. <laughs> Can I help you with something? 
<laughs> Bob, don't be so serious. Lie it off. <laughs> what did you want from him? I wanted to, to ask you, can you bring me home yeah. one of those, you know those little plastic folders in the office hallway? Yeah. The okay. small one though, not the white one, the small one. The small one, yeah, it's got you. Okay, Bob, can you say something Sorry. funny so people will actually think you have a personality? <laughs> see you next week, babe. Can't yeah, wait. see you next week. Can't wait. <laughs> Follow my side chicks calling, I only speak to us so. <laughs> Adios. Bye. My side chicks calling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's quite funny. Not really. Not really, because I've actually got a fear of abandonment or not really funny. It. It's make a joke about your side chick. Right, let's get to Mackey's. I actually can't wait to eat. I'm gonna have lunch. You can just have a... I'm gonna have a little summer so in. No, yeah. I just want to tell you that I'm having it with you that I think you're gonna leave. Where am I gonna go? I'm sus with you. Sun <laughs> Is it because I won't go to that event with you? No! Cry me a river. Is that a fake thing? That no, but it's real, it's yeah, all gonna be awkward. Yeah, whatever. I mean, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't have even considered it if it was an event that I really cared about. No, no, but I think I, I don't wear I know, and don't I'll get tell some for you anyway. Yeah, no. You're not even wearing them anymore. I know, I just did the gorgeous. You look... Yeah, but when we go... Oh, oh my goodness me! No, Is he going down here? No, he says go, go, go! <laughs> God, he's gonna think I've got a proper job to do, and you two little bitches are okay, yeah, fanning yeah, yeah. around with your GoPro. Sorry, I'm sorry, so Mr. sorry. Do you know that reminds me? I was gonna Can speak to you about ambulance, what? the new series of ambulance. How the hell am I supposed? Look at this fuck huge lorry. I can't see anything. Idiot. Why would you, would you get park out? there? You want me to get out? No. In the don't middle, worry about it. No, road. babe. Don't risk your life. I'd rather risk my car. <laughs> okay. Babe, you're good. You're oh. good, babe. Oh. Idiot. Me yeah, lorry. lorry. You sicko. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going straight, babe. Okay, babe. No, ambulance. Like, can you imagine being an ambulance driver? No, I no. know. No. The things they turn up to, like, that is not right. That's not right. Imagine having someone's life in your hands. Life in your hands or someone just like, you know, the randomest things that you have to go to and they have to go and the wait time's so big. Actually, the new series starts with them. Um, it's when the strikes are going on. So it's all a bit stressful because they've got oh. way less ambulances because it was when the strikes were. And it's all so stressful because it's like, oh my gosh, actually, we all call nine. 999 when we need to start calling 111 oh, for something. So, that is so true. And they've got like four Have and a half hour wait. Yes. For what? Because I broke someone's No! <laughs> Do you not know the story? Are you having me it on? It wasn't even the banjo girls. Babe, it was... broke his willy. He burst a blood vessel whilst I was riding him on top. Babe. I popped off and the blood, I can't tell you, it squirted. Why? It fell out of me and then it squirted all over him. All the, the blood? Way. Yes. Babe, it was horrendous. He got up, he nearly fainted. So yeah, I called 111 because I was like, I can't bring an ambulance, that's so embarrassing. Sorry. So I rang 111 and they were like... Sorry. So your pelvic floor muscles are so strong that it burst his blood vessel. In his cock. dick, and it went through the urethra, so then that's why it was squirting so much. And he lost all the blood in his willy, and it was so bad we had to go to a &E and sit there like two sheepish little kids that had just, yeah, broken a willy. So it was like totally deflated, flassy, flassy. Oh my god, flassy, flat, and disappeared. Like, yeah, nothing there, just no blood, All the blood was on the floor, it was everywhere. Oh, there was blood was everywhere. This? Not long ago. Babe, last what? year? Wow. Couldn't have sex for ages afterwards either. So I have called 111. Also, they said to me, they were like, you can ring 999. Wait, sorry. No, stop. What did they do? Pump his dick back up. They had to insert this like jelly <laughs> into the top of the willy. And then we had to go and see a willy doctor, this lady, the next day in Birmingham. Lady. She was lady willy doctor. She was lovely. Because yeah. obviously the fear is you might never get an erection again or you might not be able to. Babe, imagine if you gave him ED. So, some ED. <laughs> Some, wow. some people have to have surgery. People, someone, he would never forgive you. No, but he was fine and it's all good now, it works, so it's fine. Yeah, so I have rang 111 and she said, you know, you can wait for the ambulance, but you'd probably be better, can you drive? And I was like, yeah, I can drive, so I drove him. Because it's quicker, you're still sitting in A&E, unless wow. you're like, you know, that intensive care. That is just... I can't remember the last time I went to A&E for myself. Can you? That's so weird you asked me, because I was wondering with your thumb. Have you not seen my thumb, Scott? By the way, you've got Megan Fox thumbs. I know, and my... Because all fit girls Miley have Cyrus? thumbs like that. Yeah, my Cyrus, Megan Fox and me have the... Megan Megan Fox and me, what a trio. The tum thumbs. The toe thumbs. They're called tums. 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 Toe thumb. Babe, without these nails on, my. What is this god, thumb? Then what did you do? It's a golf ball with these thumbs. <laughs> it's a club. Oh my god, now your mum's calling you. Oh, to yeah. Yeah. Work. Hi, mummy, we're just filming. Hi, mummy. Okay, before you finish, guess who the woman is who tied my dress? Someone famous? Yes. Who? She's a maid in um, <gasps> Downton Abbey. No! Wait! Yes. Joanne yes. Froggart! Yeah, the, 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 the blonde maid. Wait, I've got to Google her! So, my, I'm renting out my mum's dresses, right? And this woman on her yeah. met 
message me saying, can I have it? Can I order it? Can I, can you- Can you buy it? it? Oh no, can she can buy it? Can I rent it? it? Yeah. yeah. And it turns out she lives like 10 minutes up the road from my mum. So my mum was like, oh, I won't post it. I'll just go and drop oh, it off. Oh, stop it. And she's now just discovered it's the woman in- Shut up! That Did you say hello? She opened the door and oh. I thought, what the frick? Oh my God, this one. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, and, and she, she was in that amazing door. drama. Oh, my dog was at the door. I hope you don't mind my dog. He's very friendly. So I said, it's fine. It's fine, babe. And you know, keep the dress and take some pics. I was only taking a moment when I saw her face. I bet. <laughs> Did you see? Did you say? Oh my god, I loved you in Downton Abbey. Or liar, I loved her in liar. No. You didn't say it. No. You're too cool I, I for want school, to make her feel Sheila. Yeah, she's too cool. You're for too school. cool. You're too cool for school. Yeah, I know. But anyway, <laughs> I just thought it's um, I thought I'd just share that with you. Anyway, enjoy your filming. Wow, well done. Well done. Very, Very good. 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 I, I think her, her name is. Jo I think her real name is Joanna George. No, Joanna. On the thing Froggart. Is, Bad name. Froggart. Yeah. Froggart. Yeah, but she she put on as Joanna Joyce. I know now where she lives. We can haunt her. Oh my <laughs> gosh, good. She's got a code name. I love that for wow. her. Wow. Good. Right. Very, yeah, very good. good. Thank you. Good story. Anyway. Okay. Goodbye. 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 Dead. That's wild. Wow. Oh, how the hell do we get in? Got to go round? I yeah. think we've got to go round. Gosh, there's a lot of people here today. Busy, busy. Okay, what's the fun and games? Oh, okay. Right. First of all, you've got to order something that's not on the menu. What do they do in Burger King? What's that Burger King one called? Chicken Royale. No, what's the burger at, at Burger King called? Like the famous... Big Whopper. Yeah, order a Big Whopper. No. Do I say, do you do Big Whoppers? So can I get one Big Whopper? It's a Whopper. Okay, and I'm going to do Australian. Do I order a Whopper in Australian? That's quite hard to say. Oh, yeah. Are you going to get a McFlurry? Babe, oh, order we can drive. Do no. Happy Meal. No. <laughs> Happy Meal. I want one of those wraps. Babe, oh, you're shit. a pay. Back it up. <laughs> You have God ordered! Damn it! Oh my gosh! So anyone mind us? This is very stressful. It doesn't say order, it just says look. It doesn't say anywhere about order. There's a little bot there! Babe. How more confused can you be? Oh he even He's talking to us. We drive right past you, we're so I'm silly. I'm so sorry about that. She's never done this before, so, she doesn't know. So could we get one big whopper? One whopper. <laughs> oh no, no water. Do you have a big whopper? What did you say? Is that what you do here? A big whopper? Give me one second, let me try to Let him do more. Maybe they're gonna kick us out. I just want to die. So you didn't say water, what did you say? A big whopper! <laughs> oh, we don't, oh, we, we don't sell whoppers then. Oh, oh, I, oh, I thought you sold the big whoppers here. Maybe that's Burger King. This is McDonald's. Can I? Oh, this is McDonald's. Okay, can I have the barbecue grilled chicken wrap? Just by itself? Yeah, just by itself. Right. Can I get one Diet Coke? <gasps> Can I get one mozzarella dip? Oh my god, they've got them back. They're back. One Diet Coke. John, a Diet Coke. Yeah, maybe a Diet Coke. Two Diet Cokes, medium. And can I get one mozzarella dippers? So two Diet Cokes, one mozzarella dippers, and one wrap. Yeah, yeah. thank you. And, and a big whopper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay, great. Thanks. Thank you. God, they're stealing a living. £10.16. Was it? Yeah. Well, I don't think the Starling card will hold up, will it, babe? Okay, do American now. <gasps> this is McDonald's. I know, McDonald's. this is him. You have to stay Australian because okay. it's the same guy and it's so embarrassing. Hi. Yeah, the big whopper, though. <laughs> Wait, I thought you did big whoppers here. How come? That's Burger King. Oh. oh. We're, we're not from around here. That's yeah. why. We confused. Yeah, so confused. It's different as well, the menu in Australia. You know that? Yeah, do you know that in Australia, the uh, McDonald's... Yeah. Yeah. I've got to say, the one here is not that great. It's not as good. No. But anyway, thank you. Let yeah. Ooh. More variety. Can I get some barbecue sauce as well? Oh, can I get some? Oh, oh fine. Great. Get it thank down there. So I've never done thank this you, before. Reese. Have Thanks. a great Bye. day. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> That's Burger King. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Give me can you ask for some barbecue sauce? Can we get one barbecue sauce, one ketchup? Ketchup? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done this for a long old this time. This feels good, doesn't it? Thank oh, you thank so you. much. Bye. Bye. Okay, now be like they know because our accents are so short. The LA, the oh American. God, that is so oh my annoying. God. Oh my God, that is so annoying. Babe, that's quite good that you watch a lot of Kardashians. Because I watch the Kardashians. I think actually if I drink this whole thing, I will piss myself on the bike. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No, that was bad. How do I do it? Oh, it smells like fries. Oh my god, it's hot. Oh my god, he... Okay, right. bye. Oh, fuck. 
They know. Babe, don't run over that boy in a shirt. I see you too. Where are you sure. going to park? Oh my god, this Chesterton's boy. We're a bit embarrassing, babe. You've locked him in. Don't be a shit driver. I'd quite like to be an estate agent. Can I tell you, actually, the giveaway yeah. is the laugh. We I know. such a British laugh. It's like, ah, ha, ha. Also, off, like, ah, ha, ha, I ha, feel ha, so ha. bad. I'm not a prankster. I was not born. You're a really good prankster. I know, babe. I would oh my god, babe, they gave us two fries. Did you order fries? No. That's it. They've ordered, they've given us. Just no, no, they've given us everything else, but also two extra fries. Oh, yeah. This is not fries, this is dippers. Babe, we didn't even order fries. Did anyone here us order fries? Yeah! But we need to get mayo. Do we then. give them to someone? I can't, like, who? Chesterton's. There's, there's no homeless person around here. Maybe we need to go and find one. No, we need to go see Leonard. <laughs> Let's go and find Leonard. Come on, go and ask us some mayo, because I can't have fries with no mayo. But I didn't even want fries, because I've got to teach bloody spin off. I'm going to get a stitch. What, you can't walk up to a do, window? You've got to do it in the LA. Commit to it, baby. I can't believe they gave us fries. I knew it smelled like chips. Okay, so I watched this hilarious TikTok, right? That was like, when you want to agree with someone, instead of saying like, okay, or yeah, bye, you say like, mm, and there is some truth at the center of that. So I'm going to do it and see how annoyed she gets. Because rather than being like, oh my God, yeah, I agree. I'm going to be like, hmm. And there is some truth at the center of that, but like every single time. Okay, you got it? You ready? Babe. Yeah. No mayo. Shut up. No. What kind of establishment do they call them? No themselves? mayo. At all. No. They're sick in the head, those people. They are sick in I the head. I can't believe that. Two free fries for being such little witches. That's why, What's this? What? Double peel. Peel on pack, then peel oh, again monopoly. now. Oh. Leicester Square, 2K holiday. Collect via McDonald's app. Collect via McDonald's app. Another chance to win. Well, babe. Wait, what if I've actually just won a 2K holiday? Have I just won? Maybe I've just won. Right, let's get on that right now. What, do you need to download the app? It's a bit long, isn't it? Where oh. did Chesterton's go? Oh, he left. He didn't want to fry. He hated us. Well, how rude. Oh, babe, we've got £8.42 left in our account. Why did they finish fries? They're crazy. Crazy! Mm. Babe, I must tell you mm. that if you want to go to Valhalla, or Valhalla, whatever the hell it's called, I know. you've got to have babies with raw because I've just discovered... Oh my God, I could have babies with raw. Yeah, I think so too. But like, maybe like artificially. They look like, they look like siblings, yeah, in a test tube. Mm. But they look like siblings. It's so weird. If you go and look at a picture, I'll post one one day too. I think we've got the same like chin and eye and... But that's what's making me think you've got the same ancestors. <gasps> also, I've mm -hmm. only... Go keep it in the family to go to Valhalla. And, and I only found this out last night. What? He's caught a Norwegian. His dad is half Norwegian. I didn't... No! Yeah. Good thing I've been really paying attention for the last seven years. What? Yeah. His grandma was... What? I thought she was like a bit Norwegian. She was 100% Norwegian. So he's caught a Norwegian. So that's Does his your... dad speak any? No. So that's your ticket. Babe. I find that really sad oh, when people have the opportunity to have a language but that's don't. Me. But babe, that's speak me in it. Chinese or me in Malay. No, but that's bad. I know. Because your mum speaks. I know. Oh! She speaks Malay and Chinese. And Indian. Yeah. Malay and Cantonese. Cantonese. Chinese isn't oh. a thing. Oh my god. You can't speak Chinese, can you? Chinese is Mandarin or Cantonese. And her dad was Indian. Punjabi. Why doesn't she speak that language? He doesn't. I mean, who did? I don't know. My nanny is also Did he speak Chinese. Malay? Yeah. Everyone's wow. Malay. Babe, that's so bad you don't speak here. I know. Do you not want to learn? Your sister speaks a bit, doesn't she? Hard it is to speak Chinese. Mm. Oh my god. It's so. Like, it's on another level. No, I can imagine. Even reading the letters is hard. I can't believe they didn't have them last time they came. I know. They Why? brought them back. Have I just won a 2,000 grand holiday? Am I okay? Where should we go? If you want, where should we go? Are you going to go on holiday tomorrow? Where would you go? I think I would want to do an American road trip, you know. Oh, I would love it. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Really? Mm-hmm. I've got your top bucket this thing. Mm. Is it? And also, I want to do it sooner rather than later because America's getting kind of like it. Mm. That's true. Yeah. That is true. Route 66. I, I really want to do um, South America. Mm. I never did it. And I actually would even be scared to go down without a boy. I know, apparently it is quite wild. I know someone that did it, went alone. A girl. Went alone? I don't know her. I can't ask. I don't know what her. Wow. That's quite brave. I think that's really brave. What look at your coat? A uh, napkin. On your lap? Where is my coat? On your oh, lap, no. babe. Oh, good! It is. Ain't no white flag above my door. Did you see the MTV um, VMA? No, but was it good? Was Nikki good? I haven't seen them, but oh. I just saw the... Because Nikki was hosting, the wasn't she? The Selena Gomez. She my is. God, wow. Something else. She really is something Isn't that else. Isn't Bravo. Really bravo. She's amazing. Mm. Can you believe Kim Jong-un? Why is his hair so flat? <laughs> that, honestly, when I see the pictures, I think how... Why have you got a head shaped like a box? You know, he's traveling on a train that can only travel 37 miles per hour because of all of the um, bulletproof windows. So heavy. And their railway is like so dodge. I could drive him there faster. No, of course. He wouldn't feel safe. He doesn't feel safe. That's a problem. Oh, he's paranoid. He's really paranoid. I think he has like a helicopter and a like limousine on the train. 
I'm traveling know, with him. Do you know a limousine on the pla on the train? I mean, uh -huh. helicopter on the train. Uh -huh. Wow. You know the um, it's called the Beast. I think they call it the presidential like vehicle in the US. No, but yeah. They have like supplies of that president's blood in the doors, so that Stop. if they get shot, like JFK. Yeah. Can you believe he got shot? Uh, the no. president of the United States got shot. That's but like, of... how he got shot and Donald Trump didn't. So. I know. Well, Donald Trump's going to be behind bars soon, so. Have you seen the mugshot? Yeah, so, so good. good. Also, apparently Harry Styles is bald. That's the real That one. must be for a film. Do you film? No, he's bald. He's wearing a wig. Yeah, for a film? No. No, Babe, he's not. Go and look it up. Oh, another one. What do I want now? An electric car and a gaming laptop. That can't be right, babe. They're not giving these out with free willy nilly. Oh, uh, you have to have all three of them. I've got another one here, Trafalgar Square. Oh my god, I think we've got three Trafalgar Squares. Wait, babe! Where did I put that other one? Get with it. I've lost it. I've bloody lost it. Oh, it's here. We've got, we've two, got two Lesser, lesser squares. squares, two Trafalgar, so we just need one more. Add M515 and M516 to win. And this is M51. Oh no, they're both an M514. This is M513. Yeah, not gonna work. Not gonna work. Damn it. They've mugged us off there. Um, Fuming, I was hopeful for a second there. But no, alas. Alas. Yeah, no, the, the rumor okay. is that he's bald. It's actually not a rumor. It's like there are lots of videos now of him where his hair looks like it's coming off his head. And now all the blind items are coming out. Like there's an A list, A list, A lister who's got no hair. He wears a, a, a toupee every day. Why a <laughs> toupee? No, babe. Toupee? I don't know, but no. Toupee? It is a toupee. But is he actually wearing one? Well, I'll show you the videos. If I was Harry Styles, no, right? No, to be fair, babe. No, if Harry if I was Styles that was famous, bold, no, he'd lose all his sex appeal. No, he would no. look quite good. No, he wouldn't. I suppose there's a difference with bold and a grade one. But I just think if I was Harry Styles and I had something I could champion, I think I'd champion it for all the bold men. Maybe he's got alopecia. No, that's, that's just a CD hairline. Oh, sorry, 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 that's a bad one. Come on. Toupee. Toupee. I'm lifting out the back of his head. <laughs> I would believe it. TikTok though. is hilarious. I love that people spend their lives doing it. <laughs> I know. Imagine if he's actually bald. That would be the, honestly, that would be the biggest. What though? Because it's okay for men to be bald. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying you don't fancy it. <laughs> I, yeah. If Harry Styles was bald, the sex appeal would disappear on me. What do you think? Do you not think? Don't worry, those fries are still there ready to be eaten, babe. Okay? Can I tell you, I actually think the Mackey's fries are bad. A bit, bit. They're a bit wet. They need wet. to be fried again. Yeah. One more they're time. a tiny they're bit too Moist. Flavourless. Mmm. No, if you get one on the top, it's really salty. That was salty. really bad. No. Oh, yeah. babe! Babe. Oh. I'm so sorry that you lost the US Open. Oh, no, did I? Yeah. Hey, Bama. Don't look like her anymore. Sabalenka. But you became because my shoulders at the moment are so big. Look at me. Babe, you are, you are Rina Sabalenka. I actually think one of my we goals were is to get a photo of you and Rina next week. Oh, yeah, I would love that. We were practicing. I was practicing my um, Killer Sally moves today. When, when I'm going to be a, what are they called? When they go into those competitions and they do like bodybuilding. Oh, yeah, yeah. When they the, do these poses like this. On the hip. Yeah. Like that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, good, yeah. good, that's good. Yeah. Thank you, yeah, I'm practicing. Yeah. Oh no, Sabaleng! Yeah, but Sid. she came number one on Monday, so good. sad and then happy. I really love her. I just think as role models go, like tennis players are really good for I agree. women. I don't know why. They let out their aggression, they're not embarrassed to be like, they're not they're quiet. They're so strong. They're strong. They're also agile. Like they move so quickly. She is just, she's such so a So much force. power. Mm. She's got such presence, mm. you know? Mm. Let me show you my home screen. Oh yeah. I've done my home screen and because I'm a sad girl, sad girling at the moment, um, I'm a sad, sad girl. Nothing drastic's happened. Don't mind, I'll keep you in the loop. It's but I am fungal. sad. It's just so fungal. <laughs> it's just my fucking ring one that I can't get rid of. Okay, so first I've got this little widget that does. Um, oh, you've done this. Oh my god. I love it. Okay, so this does little quotes. That is isn't it. Manifest. Oh, that, so, no, no, not the quotes. Then I've got the... this is all our work. Literally, this is just the apps we use every day. That's it. Social meets. Then I've got my calendar, whatever. Everything else is just like boring. Then I've changed everything so it's just little love hearts oh, in yeah. my folders. And it's it says softly, but softly, because right. you have to go softly, softly, like stop being hard on yourself. Softly, 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 softly. Babe, what do the colours mean though? How are you going to find anything? They don't mean anything, I just know where everything is. Then that's a waste of time. You might as well just have them all on the home I screen. hate when it says like productivity. I hate it. I change it myself. Let me see yours, but it's a mess. Yeah, mine is a mess. <laughs> Stressful. Wait, this is my home screen. Horrible. Horrible. Bloody candy Soho crush. <laughs> Soho house. <laughs> top news. Guys, I think I have a clinical addiction to, to candy, candy crush. crush. It's actually no, You know, Faye, her boyfriend George, I hope you won't mind me saying, had an addiction. No, 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 that's me. And at one point he didn't have it on his phone, so he'd have to go fake and I borrow your phone. <laughs> and he'd borrow her phone to play Candy Crush. So George. Mine's really bad. Paper straws are the devil! No! Why so many screens? It's unnecessary. I hate it. I think that's really I hate I 
hate that because it's different if you've color coded it and like all the apps are in a specific like that even for me is like just do something better with your life than sodding color code your home screen they're not color coded they are just in no, it doesn't matter what they're called like the folder wait, makes see. sense you know what i mean like babe if it works for you why do you have so few apps on your phone how softly, do you do softly. anything why do i need them i hate apps they're stupid there's so many of them. I just think, ugh, get out of my face. If that's Read the mantra. Every day, I'm going to try and become a better person. Oh, lovely. And there is some truth at the centre of that. I just think every day you've just got to go so easy on yourself. Oh my God, the mat. Yeah, there we is always some, see the mat here. There is some truth at the centre of that. I think that there must be a police station around here. There must There's be. There's one's worth prison. Where that guy escaped from. He's back in now. I know. Guys, we were supposed to be doing something really. Yeah, we were going to do something fun with you today. And it was, I was really excited it got about it. But it got me too. Well, we're going to this really fun thing on Friday. We've been invited <laughs> to a. We got the call. To London Fashion Week. We were on the bench, probably. Probably. And we'll be sat back row. Yeah. But anyway, who cares? Because we're going to be there. And we're going to try and like do a bit of outfit, like a bit of a moment. A we? moment. Yeah, we are. Of course. Who are we going to get to take our picture when we're there? The paparazzi, babe. No, I'm not having a Getty image. It makes me feel sick. No. What are you talking about. <laughs> it's so worrying. You've got no control no, over no, it. You just have to We're just... gonna look awful. <laughs> I just hope for the best, yeah. I've got something in my teeth. We'll just do a quick check. That's I need to make friends with them so I can go, no, seriously, Nigel, you need to delete that one. I look <laughs> they don't show you when you're there. I'm gonna get Nigel to show me. I'm gonna make friends with them. I feel like a pap would be called Nigel. Gareth. His name's the guy who started Getty. He's called Gareth, I think. Gareth. Gareth Catamol, I think I might have made that up. Do you know what's really interesting as well? When I used to do the red carpets, it's always the same guys. And I just think- Have you not made friends with them yet? Yeah, I have, not really, because I didn't do enough. But mm. like, what a boring, boring job to just stand there and take photos of famouses. After all, a good way just... to make money, isn't it? I guess so, I don't know. But also- you've got some good ones. Oh, they're not really the able to doorstep now anymore. I will anymore. give you the scoop on oh. all of those awards, okay? I can't remember what it's called now. I did two sets of awards and one of them was like the great and the good of, oh, I can't remember what it was called now. Anyway, the red carpet comes in and you walk past all the press. I was one of the press back then. Back then, back in the day. Year. And you, so you walk, was actually working. So you walk, yeah. So you walk down the down the red carpet and then there's the press pen. But because it's so backed up and it's so busy, the celebs literally are like waiting in a queue. For, like it's honestly Stop. like they're waiting in a queue for a loo. And then they, and they wait. have to do it, don't they? They have to wait. Yeah, because their management are like, no, you have to do the press. Yeah. And it's just so funny because like everyone looks at those glossy pictures mm. and think, oh, it's so it's not glamorous, guys. It's so not glamorous at all. They stand in a line. They get called up. They get ten seconds. It's like front. cattle. It is. It is really like cattle. It's just quite funny because like then you you know then you see people Pardon getting me. a bit like oh, I don't want to be seen like queuing but life babe you gotta queue sometimes like everyone's got a wee what are you gonna do just because you're like you know dame helen mirror and walk to the front and say i dame need helen, to dame helen would get to queue jump 100 percent. Judy dench queue jump leo obviously leo would queue jump babe floss queue jumped did um craig david daniel craig he wasn't there no this is at a different thing oh fine but he would queue jump but people like jenna coleman alicia dix and they've all got a queue alicia dix what? alicia dix alicia she's she kind of is of Bradford, where she from? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they've she's got a bit of a queue. So just actually. remember that when you look at all those glossy paparazzi pictures of them at the, all of those. It's not glossy. Like None of it's glossy. Like last night the VMAs would have been the same. I guarantee you that some people will have had to have queue for. It. And you will, and they will have eaten cold food. Just remember that. Yeah, babe. Do you know what I was thinking about this morning? Those things, like non-human things that you really fancy. Like I've always fancied <laughs> shoes. I've always, always actually, had a like, thing. Get a bit turned off. No, on. but like if I, do you know what I mean? Like everyone has that. One like boys with cars, kind of yes. But right. mine's always, always since I was like ten years old, it's been shoes. I think mine's bags. Yeah, okay. Oh, I love a good bag or beds. You need to see a proper nice bed. That is a with great proper duvet, no, big I, pillows. Can I tell you that's that's us talking about getting into our middle age. Bed folk. What the hell? I love it. I love it too. Or a good sofa. Look at good sofa. Loaf. Loaf. Go into loaf and have an orgasm. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on that sofa. Sofa. Oh yeah, I can't think what else turns me on. Do you know what I mean? Crockery, gorgeous, Shh. just anything in the home apparently. Yeah. Like a 1960s house. Surely yours disgusting. must be food. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have food gasm over like everything. Yeah. I love I you love it, I do. I love it, I do. Oh, I love what it. What did you want to tell me about Vikings then? Started watching it again, I'm obsessed. Again, babe, get over no, it. No, 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 the series is so, so long. It's so, so long, this series. If anyone else is trying to tackle Vikings on Prime, good luck to you, because each series has two series yeah, within the series. Yeah. They're 20 episodes long. It's like Grey's Anatomy. It's so long, but I love it. Did you ever watch Grey's? No. Also, I haven't watched Top Boy. 
I know, I know, I know. Guy, oh my Everyone god. Everyone loves him. He I know the end now though, so. Is. No, but there's just a new season come out. I know the end of the new season. Do you? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Well, basically. Don't! <laughs> no, but he is just 1010. Wow, no, he. 1010. Ashley Walters, is that his name? No, Michael Ward. Michael no, Ward. I'm talking about not Duchesne. I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't even know. I the main it. guy, the brother. Michael Ward. Michael Ward. He is. 1010. No, like 2010. My God. Wow. The things I do for him. Really? Yeah. Oh, he's so sexy. Will you stop? Oh, I love that he he, I've, his, what I love have I seen him in? he spells his name wrong. It's supposed to be Michael the other way, but he's put it Mikey Al. That's how he spells his name. Wow. I love him. I love him. No, I really love him. Him and um, reggae, Jean Page from Bridgerton. Sure. Wow. Yay, that's your... And Stormzy. Oh, God. No, I know. Funny got a that pattern I'm... going no, on. I know. Poor Raw is I all know. I'll say because he's not quite I know. on the same <laughs> I level. think, no, but I think with them it's like candy, but when you have it, like, then you would get, you know, like... Yes, yes, yes. You yes. what you can't have. Exactly that. And also, you always fancy, like, I mean, look at me fancying, like, Vikings. Like, I really do. You do. Have, babe, like, do you have, are you just saying it? Or do you and have... it's so weird because I hate mask men. I'm not really into, like... Like energy wise, babe. No, Colin is quite masked. Are you joking? His energy isn't. Colin he's is actually not. Mask. He's the most. <laughs> like, if you were going to describe a mask man, like a macho mask man, paint him, write about him, it's Colin. No, but babe, he's not. Underneath it all, he's not like. He doesn't even watch football. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, those Vikings where they've got their shaved head and their big ponytail on top and they just shag you like they want to eat you. I just say, oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah! The long hair for me is the thing that really is putting off and putting me off. I know, but I'm honestly obsessed with it. The long, greasy hair? Yes. There is something about a Norwegian man that I quite enjoy. I know, I know. I can't help it. I know. I'm just into it. Babe, I think you would actually be quite a good Norwegian Viking wife. I'd have been such a good... I'd have been... and Because you know they fought, the Viking women, just as then. Get her out there on the battlefield! And they had big swords and there's this one woman in it who I fancy the most she's called Lagatha and she's the okay. queen and she is so so sexy and everyone loves her fancies her and she fights and she puts this like war paint on and she and she stabs everyone she just kills them it's actually brutal there's so much violence do you want to be Lagatha? I think I want to be her yeah like if there was a Halloween party coming up I think I'd dress as Lagatha I was gonna ask you about Halloween are we gonna do something? I think we should do something but who are we gonna be? no I'd like to get on the invite for my jammers oh babe that's a tough sell big ass tough sell maybe we're gonna have to try and suck some dick Yep. Maya, we will suck your dick. There is some truth at the centre of that, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Who would we go as? Mm. We'd have to be a two though. We'd have to be a two, like Sunny and Cher. Or I could be Cher. Yeah. Cher? Yeah. Like Cher, if you believe. Yeah. In that, I would want to be Cher because I think I look yeah, like Cher. Yeah, I could be Sunny. Yes! Good. Oh, sorry, did I say I'd be Cher? Yeah. No, you'd be Cher, I'd be Sunny. Everyone says that I look like young Cher. Some, like sometimes when I have it's no makeup you've got such on, a I've tight got really, face. Like, yeah, I've got long, and she had like really long yes. dark hair. She is. I am a rich man, mama. She is is an advert for if you're gonna do Botox and everything, do just it like do that. It. Yeah, oh. get it just ironed in. Yeah. <laughs> iron, like literally, she must lie there. I mean, you just iron her face, so she just like, and then she's just like. Ready? And every morning she just pumps it up. What does she sing in Mamma Mia? Fernando. Fernando. There was something in the air that Fernando. night. The stars were bright. Fernando. Which you can't even open her mouth too wide because it's, it's Fernando. so Fernando. Yeah, exactly like that. I was looking in the air that night. The stars were bright. Fernando. Okay, so mission get on my Ojama's Halloween party list. Big. Well, we got six weeks to execute. We no, that. babe. Halloween's... Oh, Oh God, it's in October. I always think it's November Halloween. Well, that's because you're an idiot. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? I am actually so thick. I felt that watching Oppenheimer. Oh, did you love it? Yeah, I thought it was actually really good. I actually really did. Because it should have been more boring. I actually didn't get bored until like the last, like, it could have been 20 minutes shorter. Yeah, everyone said Just that. overall. The beginning bit about the rain and the poison apple. What was the point of that? Totally pointless. I guess to get a bit of his character, maybe. Of like, he was a bit of a, because he could look like a nerd, like, like whatever, but he was actually had a bit of spike, a bit of spunk about him. Okay. He was a ladies' man. Okay. He was a bit dark. He was troubled. And I guess you needed to know that. Okay. But yeah, but I shaved done, off. But babe, they could have done that in three minutes, 30 seconds. Also, not... Paul Floss, we didn't need to see our tits every five seconds. <gasps> you know what I mean? Cut a bit of that. Do you know in some countries they but... censored it? Really? Yeah. Oh, Don't she's copying us. do that. It's part of behind us to get your chips. Oh my god, and has she got a go Single woman about to pick up her kids. Oh god. 
Good for you, babe. You have a Mackie's. Mackie's gets a bad rep, and I know it's a bit processed, but it's delicious. That's going to be us, babe, on the way to pick the kids. It's all about Mackie's. balance. It's going to be us. I used to love a Mackie's when I was younger, and I could only ever have it when I was with my dad because he just didn't know what else to cook or do. Did you ever have the apple pie? The sweet yeah. Apple? Oh. Mm. They don't really. Now they're rubbish. Oh, I've never had one. Because it's all recently. pastry and not apple. But in, the, in the olden days, it was a lot of apple. <laughs> no, the, the tea on Jean Tadlock, right, is that apparently. Who? Jean Tadlock, floss. Oh, fine. The real, real, the real life. woman. The May she rest her. MI5 piece. or MI6 killed her because she was like the go between between the communists and him and she knew too much. That's actually the whole conspiracy is that she was killed. They because, didn't really go into because, that. Because she was found not to get really morbid, but she was found drowned. Like this in the bathtub. You don't. If you're gonna kill yourself in the bathtub, you don't put your head. That suggests that someone's forced her head down. She yeah. was found like also, head what a first. Wild, oh my god. Yeah. So that's the tea. That she was killed because she knew too much, and she had links with both sides. She was a communist, and she knew she was too close. It was quite a complex story, wasn't it? There was a lot going on. Mm. I like really felt a bit thick. I was like, God, I need to be taking notes because there's a lot going on here. I know. Wasn't like Barbie tooting around. Let's go beach. Actually, Barbie had a lot of layers. I take that back. Yeah, but they were more digestible. Those layers. Yes. The only thing I will say about the bomb is that it wasn't big enough. An atomic bomb, you wouldn't be able to... No, but that was the tester. Hadn't they made it smaller? Oh. Because it was the test. Did you know that it was Gary Oldman as the president? He's yes. Un that yeah. man is a shapeshifter. I'm telling you. <laughs> They're all so method no, that lot. Babe, they all do it properly. They become it, their people. In Winston Churchill. Like, yeah. It's so yeah, weird. Yeah. Gary Oldman is the only person I can think of that can shapeshift into any I role. I want to look him up. Bizarre. Apparently Gary. Gary. No, Gary. he actually is. Like, what does he actually look like? You'd never recognise him on the street, would you? No. Because he looks different in everything. Apparently he's really lovely. I can imagine that. He's a proper method actor though, isn't he? Yeah. Where he all like... Those, all those old school ones are really they don't really do it like I that know. Anymore. it must be quite intimidating when you're another actor going onto a set with someone like that no, I, when you're like I you agree. know they're not going to speak to me and be like hi babe how was your morning like, going to Meryl, like be... sitting on set with Meryl Streep or something like that do you think that she does just... it yes I want a Devil Wears Prada too <sighs> It's coming to the West End. We must go and see it. Is it? Yeah. Oh, guess what we're doing on Sunday? Oh my God! We're going to see our idols. Go on to your Irish. Tell the, tell the lovely people what we're doing. We're going to see Bogan Joanne. Bogan Joanne. I'm so excited. We're going to see. Oh, Joanne! Oh, Joanne. We're going to see my therapist ghosted me. Live. So actually. At the London Palladium. So actually, when you listen back to that episode and you hear someone cackling in the back, <laughs> that'll be us laughing our heads off. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's going to be good. We'll really get immersed in the Irish. Next yes. week we can come here and do the Irish. We can do the whole... Well, maybe we hang out backstage and we try and get them in the back. God, they would be great. Vogue's looking quite thin at the moment. We could probably just pick her up. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. I could sling her over her shoulder and, and you could just, just say, Oh, do you, want, do you want to go for a drink? And she'd love it. And then we'll have them in the back. Or we'll just put them balaclava, bundle them up, get I them in. I think the so. Back. Just get them in. Or we'll say, on. Girls, you need to lift home. And we'll do the lift home. Hey, have the GoPro with us. Yeah! Good. Come on. Oh, they would be so good. Oh, we'd love to have them in. Bogan Joanne. Come Maybe you've got to let us know, guys, your dream guest. Because yeah. we're kind of racking our brains at the moment. We've got one lined up and he is the ultimate. He has to be first. Who? Raw. Yeah. Not having anyone else in the back seat first. Or Holly, but Holly won't Holes do it. Holly won't do it. Oh, party pooper. She literally just said it's the most unnatural thing in the world. She was like, I'll sit in the back and I'll just stare at the GoPro and not speak. <laughs> I was like, you won't even notice it's there. Yeah. Actually, do you know what? Holes actually really doesn't share anything of her personal life ever, which is like bizarre because, you know, I would tell like that man over there, like, you know, about my thrush or whatever. My ring one. It's not natural for her. It's not natural for most people. No, for though, most people yeah. to share over people share like this. totally insane. Toot toot. Toot toot. I'm a fruit loop. Also, guys, thanks all so much for your I good guys, thanks all so much. Thank <laughs> okay, you guys, thanks all so much. What are you thanking them for? <laughs> for your love, appreciation, follows, <laughs> likes, subscribes. For, for all the love for her crying. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't worry about her. It was just a moment. It, it was a moment. Well, you know, it's coming on a moment. No, we both yeah, had a cry yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We had a big, big cry. I think it's just like this age, and actually probably loads of ages. I'm sure loads of people are feeling it. Like, even if you're younger and I don't know, you've just started six, four or more. Your, I think, transitional stages throughout life. Terrible. Yeah, and they force you to like confront things. Yeah, and make decisions, and that's really hard. And I think the biggest thing I've learned in the last 48 hours is you can't really judge anyone for the decisions they make or the pace at which they make them. Because I think the inner turmoil that happens over like a new job, a relationship, where to live, like anything, is really hard. And only you know the answer, but you don't know the answer yet. You said it so well when you were like, you can listen to everyone, but actually that's not what's important. You need to like try 
desperately to quieten the noise and really like think about what you want, who you are, what works, what doesn't work. And then you just need to be patient with yourself on actually executing those things. Because not everyone can just go, yeah, right, here's my rational brain, well, I'm onto it. Really do that. No, really, because when especially in. like matters of the heart or big, big life decisions, it takes a minute. Mm. And I used to be a bit like more, I don't know, like get on with it. Like a bit more judgy, I think. And now I'm just like, no, no. But that's because I think you have to go through it, whatever it is, to be able to get it. Yeah. When some of your friends have been through it and some of your friends haven't, heartbreak, whatever it might be, mm. you know, and I have all these lovely people in my DMs saying, oh, you know, like what you're saying is happening to me now. And I think it's so hard when you're a bit younger because lots of people can't give you what you need because they haven't been through it. Yes. It Even will... at our age, you'll be the first. Yeah. Even if it's a happy thing and you're the first to get married or the first to get pregnant, it's lonely because yeah. Yeah. someone's got to do it yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're surrounded by people that haven't yet experienced it and can't truly fathom it because you can't until you felt it. Yeah. Like you can have compassion and no, empathy. But you can't, like, no, you can have sympathy, but you can't have empathy. Yes. Same with like any sort of grief, like yeah, understanding yes. someone else's grief yes. is like almost impossible and how they deal with that grief is up to them. But I think also people aren't asking you to understand their grief. They're just asking you to be there. Yeah. You know, and like just hold them when they cry. That's the biggest thing, isn't it? And also learning how to go, what do you need from me? Like, do you need advice? Space? Do you need me to go away? Do you need to sit in the mud? Like, what do you need? I agree. You're so good at that. What? You're just always like, I'm here for X, but I'm also here for Y. And you just let me know. Anywhere in between. You just let me know, babe. You just let me know. No. So, so then you've got know. a hotline bling and that's what you need. That's what good friends are, a hotline bling. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Just get on the hotline when you really need it. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, my therapist was ghosting me. going to be so good. I'm excited to have a laugh. I Maybe saw Joanne in the Prosecco Express. I did. Did you? In Cheltenham Town Hall. Mm. She was brilliant. I saw her in the Palladium. Oh, did you? And I swear to God, I came out of my pants for wet. I swear <laughs> on my life. She is. No, I think we're going to cry. Also, Vogue's actually really funny. Really funny. And I think she yeah. doesn't credit no, for it. No, she doesn't. She's just Spencer Matthews' wife. Yeah. Yeah, she's not. Yeah. Also in Ireland, she was really famous. I know, but babe, being famous in Ireland is like not difficult. I'm not gonna lie. It's got about five people there. It's like being famous in Australia. Yeah, or New Zealand. We're not even famous there. <laughs> <laughs> we want to know your guests, your dream guests for the back of this car. Yes. But like, let's start a bit realistic. Like, let's not go Listen, in with Chloe and Kim Kardashian. We can't know? have them in. Yeah. yeah. Not yet. Not yet. One day. I don't even think we could get Sophia and Chintz yet. So like, just bring us down. Bring us but back maybe down. Vogue and Joanna on this. Vogue and Joanna on the same level as Sophia and Chintz. They probably are. The only way we'd get Vogue and Joanne is if they felt a bit sorry for us. Or and they thought, they oh, thought, why not? It's good or crack. Or if they think we're really funny, yeah. Or maybe we could just take the kids to school. <laughs> not even have Vogue and Joanne in the back. Just take, oh, oh and do anything to take little Gigi. She's so she cute. She is so cute. She is so, their kids are, wow. Wow, well 10, done. 10. Yeah, thank God. Surely that's enough now. She's thinking have any more. I think she could do one more, put one out. I mean, oh my God, honestly, how she springs back. I do think if coil. you have three, you might as well have four. What is the sodding difference? A car, babe, yeah. that's the difference. Yeah, you just get one more bigger you just get gotta get a new car or put them in the boot well babe she's probably getting it for free so that's good that's good for her yeah she could get a toot toot bus <laughs> My aunt, okay, me and my cousins grew up, like, we were like siblings, there were six of us, and my mum and my aunt would always alternate the school run, and we had a van. Yeah, good. My aunt, I will never forget, had this really long driveway, and when no one was looking, she would let us sit on the roof of the van, and she would drive it, and we'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> And then in Malaysia, we had one of those vans, where it's like, open at the back, and we would Oh, all, good like, fun! Yeah, like a truck! Yes, exactly, like a truck. Oh, good. For school? Vans. No, no, just for like, Just for fun times. Around. Yeah. Oh, it was so, so fun. good. We one of your dream guests for the back of the car. Yeah. And your Halloween outfit ideas. Good. Let yeah. In the comments. Iconic duos, please. There aren't actually that many. No, there are. Like who? Batman and Robin. Whatever those girls from Firefly Lane are that everyone seems to think that we... I don't even... Because of the glasses. Is that it? Yeah. <sighs> Tully and... um. What was her name? Sully and Tully. No. Tully and... Have you watched it? Firefly Lane? Oh my God, what's her name? Have you watched Firefly yeah, Lane? Yeah, babe. I loved it. Oh, so you do know I really loved it, yeah. Oh, so it's only because of the glasses? Yes. Oh, well, that's kind of unreal. Uh, maybe it is a bit the dynamic, but I don't know. Who else is there? Um, there is Liam and Noel Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> Abfab. Abfab. Babe, we're gonna go with Anton Deck, obviously. 
Oh! We really gotta practice our Geordie accents because that's hard. Oh, why why I, man? man? Why I? Why Thanks I, man? so much. We're so happy today to be to be up. gifted our, la, our next NTA. To win our 150th NTA today. I think we just sound northern like we're from Mane. Yeah, that's bad. We've got to work on that. Gotta work on it. Okay, put well, I'll work on it. Uh, to help a skill. Uh, I'm fucking knackered. Yeah, like Geordie. Adam Collard is Geordie. Yes, he is. And he always says autumn. He's dating that girl at the moment on Celebs Go Dating called Autumn. 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 Oh, yeah. Autumn. Lottie Moss. Lottie. Yeah. Lottie. Ow. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's at the back of the mouth. Babe, I love this colour on you and I love this colour on you. I want to wear you to wear it every single day. I'm going to go my nip off. This is a funny one because I oh, won't lie to you guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But the tuberous breasts aren't looking so tuberous in that. No, they look great, one, don't they? Yeah. Well, it's also because I'm cold. They're not tuberous. Can I find another colour you can wear as a normal top? No, but can I just say to you, I was a bit like apprehensive about this one to start with because it makes you bulge in all the places that no one's comfortable bulging. But actually, get over it. Cry me a river. Do you know what I mean? There is some truth at the centre of that, yeah. Because get over it. Who yeah. cares? I'm riding a bike. I'm so strong and powerful. You tell him, baby. Let's start driving. Right, so we're going to this London Fashion Week show on Friday. Do you know, what time? Do you know what time this thing starts, right? It's at nine. And it's in bits. It's nine in the morning. Those models are going to have to get up at 3 a.m. They're going to be in hair and makeup at four. I mean, it's just insane. No, because isn't fashion shows quite like... Yeah, but babe, all the models are still got to get ready. Someone's still got to do all of their hair and makeup. And they're like, it's just insane to me. What do we do afterwards? It's about five minutes long. It'll be oh, like 20 minutes to show. I know what. What? Go to SH and have breakfast. Oh, it's got to be. Yeah. It's at 9 a.m. We can do a blowy in the morning. Anyway, we're trying on these suits, but I'm a bit nervous she about it because... <laughs> she means... A blow job. A blow... Dry, sorry, not a blow job. My God, something's on the mind. Oh my God! I would never give a blow in the morning. Oh, never. I would. Never. At any time of the day, honestly, it doesn't bother me. You want a blowy? I'll give you one. <laughs> <laughs> you want a blowy, Lexus? I'll give you one. Maybe not you, kind sir. He's about 105. God love him. <laughs> we're gonna try on these suits, which I'm really excited about. And we'll obviously show you a pic Obvs. when we've got them. But I'm worried they're not gonna fit me. I'll just wear them open. The girls sometimes <laughs> wear their trousers open nowadays, yeah, don't the, they? With the folded yeah. Down hem. yeah. I'll just do that. That's actually quite a sexy look. Getty will love it. Yeah. Getty will be confused. Him, if you do that, I honestly bet you. So, you know, after I wore my jeans, the reason I wore those jeans folded over is because they're a bit too big. Maybe the people will think the trousers are too big for me. Everyone messaged me was like, oh my God, where did you get your folded down hem jeans? If you do it, I guarantee you people will be like, oh my God. And maybe I could wear some knickers that said something like pussy. Oh, good. Or fuck off. Babe, how rude. You don't say that on the prairie. What do you want to have on the prairie? You don't say that no, on the prairie. It's like little women. What am I going to do about coming to get that suit? I'll come tomorrow morning. Is that okay? You're around? If I have to be. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? Uh, I'm at home. I'm teaching the early class, so then I can just come straight to you. On the I Northern. won't even be awake. No, honestly, it'll be about 8 15. When you get to me? Mm, maybe earlier, yeah. <laughs> well, you have a key, so just let yourself in. I'll let myself in. Raw will be up and out, won't he? Yeah, he'll be, he'll be gone. He's, he's going away on Friday. Oh my god, you're gassed, aren't you? <sighs> he's going Friday morning early, which is actually good because he's got to get up at 5.30 and I'm going to have to get up early to start. Oh, good! I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. Exactly. Babe, how long do you think your face takes? Because I'd say mine takes 20 minutes. In the morning at that you're time. You're quite quick now. My, I am quick, but this is not my full face. Oh, you're gonna do a full yeah, face? Yeah, I'm gonna do a full face. I'm gonna do some eyeshadow and all that sort of stuff. Oh, you can do an eyeshadow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay, can do an eyeshadow too. I'm gonna do an updo. No, babe, you gotta do me. I was thinking the same. A little bun. A little bun. A little chignon. Sure. What's that? <laughs> a little bun at the bottom. A chignon? Chignon, that's what they say in French. Chignon. Oh, chignon. A oh, chignon. Don't like my chignon. No, but the only reason I wanted to try them today was because if I like want shoes and stuff. You can try yours today. I know about you. Shoes and stuff like that. Shit, what shoes are you going to wear? I don't know. Because it depends on the colour. Oh, bugger me. What are you What are you doing tonight? You're going to spin. Yeah, and Anna Murphy's coming over. Who the hell is Anna Murphy? One of my best friends from sixth form. <laughs> we met at sixth form. You know, it's so weird. I moved schools at sixth form. Sixth form. Sixth form. Sixth form. Sixth form. Sixth form. And I met three girls. There was four of us. And I honestly like fell in love with them. And um, mm. we're friends to this day, this goddamn day. And Anna has just got a new job working with Lucas Aid. She's an absolute legend. She went to the Anthony Joshua fight because they sponsor Anthony Joshua and she dressed oh, up. Anthony Joshua is my number three. Oh yeah, obvs. Wait, I had a Stormzy. Yeah, way. Um, way. Way. And she dressed up as a Lucas Aid bottle. Oh, that's mascot. so good. And he fist bumped her. Anthony Joshua walked past her and went, oh, that's so 
so good. It fist bumped her. Oh, I'd pass out. I'd pass oh, out. She died. No, she was bright red. It was brilliant. It's oh. the best video I've ever seen in my life. Wow. Yeah, amazing. Okay, well, I'll come to you tomorrow morning, but I've got to be home by 9 30 because we're going to do a full day of work tomorrow. Babe, so just FYI, I also do have Wi Fi. So if you need to do something, don't get then. distracted. You won't get yours. distracted. I do, babe. I'm also going to have to get better at not getting distracted. Because also, I'm going to have an absolute like PA because I can't cope. PA. Panic attack. <laughs> PA is like the way you say it if it's like not, you know, like an actual panic attack because you don't right, want to offend the people who right. actually suffer from panic attacks. A BF. A bitch fit. Yeah. <laughs> because I find trying on clothes so residually traumatic yeah. from when I had bad body image. Now I love myself and I speak to myself with words of love and kindness, but those trousers will test me. I know. I know it to be true. Yeah. And I'm going to get hot and flustered and stressed and, and I'm going to hate we're it. We're going to do it really slowly. Yes. And we're going to have some nice music. And yes. We're going to have a coffee. Yes. And I think you just need to accept that you might hate it and then you might try it on again tomorrow and you might love it. Yeah. So you've just got to pick it and, babe, and then listen, not look at it again. Listen to me. Yes. Worst case scenario nothing fits yeah we'll go to her in selfridges yes. we'll rent something tomorrow yes and it will all be okay and it okay? will all be fine yeah one pair of trousers girls I know, I know. can knock 20 years of work i know why i know why does that happen it's horrible but you've just got to go softly softly and you've just got to be kind to yourself and you've got to go it's the trousers not ebay i know yeah right we but don't change ourselves to fit the trousers we change the trousers to fit us clothes are supposed to fit you not the other way around. exactly you don't need to be doing anything silly exactly silly not having your mackies for exactly. lunch Pull in, babe. No, he can pull in. Oh, don't take up emergency. Words. Stop. That was face. Yep. Look me in the eye. You. You've got road rage. Because it's all these van drivers. Van drivers. What did you want to tell me about bombs? The bomb man that escaped. I told you about it. He's not a bomb man, babe. Yes, he did. He made fake bombs on military camps, and that's why he got arrested. Quite a weird thing to do. Why Bizarre. Would do why would you do that? Why would you make fake ones? Anyways, thank goodness he's back now, because I was really worried last week. I honestly couldn't sleep. I've just anymore. really discovered that life is just one big ball of admin, and it just sucks. That's why think? people hire PAs. I know. No, I just really just do think, why? Why is there so much admin in life? Endless paperwork and forms and calling and... Oh! Oh, I just, I want to just do it. In it's because you had your call with Sky, isn't it, babe? No, You're feeling a bit triggered by it. I'm done. I'm done. I need to get my MOT, actually. I'm so bad at doing that sort of stuff. It's See, more MOT. admin. It's more soddy admin. You've got to get a service and an MOT. You've got to get your tyres checked and the tyre pressure and the windscreen and the petrol. And then i got to call the Sky people and my council tax has charged me wrong. And it's just like actually <laughs> endless. It's, and then the sodding Barclays calculator. Why have you sent me a calculator? Don't worry about it. You don't even need to use 15 it, cards. Why have we got 15 cards? And you the VAT just... and the zero and the business account and I just think, no! Nah! <laughs> can't do it, can't do it. Feel better now? Just <sighs> relax. Yeah, better. Because it's all good because it means you're alive. Good. That's Would you true. rather be dead with no admin? <laughs> no! I'd rather be living with admin too. Yeah. I'm so bad. Like I honestly, this ringworm has not gone. If no, anything, that's it's. Mine. I know. Sorry. If anything, it's time spy three. And I've been using the thunder. Thunder. I've been using. I've the catched. Cat I've called your list. I've, been using <laughs> I've catched your list. <laughs> I've been using the fungal cream, and it has not gone. Let's see. Other side. Other side. Oh. You always do that. Don't know your own ringworm. I oh, know it's much better. It's bigger. No, no, it's much, much better. I'm not going to touch it because my mum said it's contagious. Dishwasher gate. Go I'm on. done. First of all, another life admin problem. No, it's not a life admin. It's a boy problem. <laughs> I just feel like if you're going to be OCD about stuff, do it about stuff like do your washing, fold your socks, fold your pants, make your t-shirt drawer not a total bomb site. Like, why is it the dumb stuff? Oh my god, I can't. I actually can't talk about this because it makes me so irate. I'm going to have to talk about this with Raw when he comes in. What's he, happening? No, 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 he will. He, right, so I will, oh my God, I will load the dishwasher, okay? I will load the whole dishwasher. Yeah. And he'll come over and take everything out. No! And start again. And reload. And reload because it's not done in the right order and I haven't loaded the dishwasher properly and the spoons are in the knife section and like. Why does it matter? I, right. Does he think everything won't get washed? But I, he's not an OCD person because he's so messy, total mess. Maybe the dishwasher is like his thing. Like some people find the find dishwasher Find something like, else! Very Beauty. Find something else. It's so stupid. Why does it annoy you that he really does it? Why don't you just stack everything on top because of the dishwasher? I, because if I then do that, he'll be like, well, why have you not put it in the dishwasher? I'm like, are you joking me? Okay, but maybe you need to say to him, babe, can you teach we me don't... how no, to babe. load the dishwasher babe. properly? We... So I've had this conversation. Well, why haven't you learned more times in the right place? I've got hairs on my head. <laughs> Swear to God. What the? It's not just him, though. It's me. I, I think that other men have this. It's so weird. What is it about? Nicotine. It's over. 
only. His car is a bomb. It's disgusting. You wouldn't, honestly, I wouldn't put a death row prisoner in his car. It's disgusting. There's rubbish <laughs> everywhere. There's like three week old sandwich box. It's disgusting. No, Raw. It's disgusting. Go, if you want a jump scare, get in the front seat of his car. Rubble from building site. Uh, rubble. Hard hat, high vis vest, those orange traffic cones. It, all <laughs> in the back of the car. Everything is a mess apart from the dishwasher. And I'm the like, dishwasher. The, the one place that no one looks in is the dishwasher. Maybe Maybe there's a thing here deeper than that. Maybe if the dishwasher's together, Raw feels together. Yeah, he does, okay. he does. And he's and like, it doesn't clean. That's his thing. Get a life. I honestly just I think you need to life. stop packing the dishwasher. You need to say yeah, to him, I'm not going to do I'm the dishwasher do anymore. I agree. Because I can't watch you reload the dishwasher again because I might strangle Scream. you in your sleep. Yeah. And I don't want to do that because I don't want to go to prison. What is that? Do you want some good news? Yes. Autumn telly starting. Strictly this Saturday. Oh, yes, I can't wait. Married at first sight. Married at first sight. Bake off with Ali Hammond. Would you do it? <laughs> Well, don't worry about it, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Would I do Bake Off? Would you and I do Bake Off? Yes! Obviously. Oh, it's heaven. I can't think of anything better than standing in that tent and eating cake. But some of them would be rank and you'd have to be like... <laughs> they wouldn't be that bad. They're never that bad. Babe, do you know my... They're underbaked. I can handle that. My I like friend underbaked. got to the last round of the Bake Off audition. She's an amazing... Her name's Simmy. She's also the one whose dad is a hot air balloon instructor. She got to the last round and she was like, it's so intense. Yeah, you have to be really good. And before you go in, right, you have to give them every recipe you're going to bake for all 12 weeks. How would you know? Well, you have to make them up. That's why that one girl that time kept putting yuzu in all of her recipes. And I thought, why are you so obsessed with yuzu? Because she had to do it three months ago. Yeah, and she probably sat down and had yuzu next round and thought, well, <laughs> Just throw that in. <laughs> what they do, so you have to then send it to a home economist. I don't know what the hell a home economist is. You have to send all of your recipes. Someone from. that's like a professional housewife. Basically, yeah. Or houseman. Or house person. Yeah. They have to go and check your recipes against every recipe on the internet to make sure you haven't copied anyone. For you have to make your own recipes. Every, yeah. For every single person that attend for 12 weeks for three challenges per week, babe. That's 36 recipes per person. No, because one of them they oh, don't Oh, sorry. Plan. So 24 recipes. Good maths. Per person for the whole <laughs> Thing. <laughs> and they've got to check every recipe against everything that's ever been put on. What would you bake? What's your favourite dessert in the whole world? Tiramisu. But I had a lychee tiramisu. Look. No, it really? was. Yeah, it was delicious. It was like fruit. Oh my god, it was just outstanding. I would do that. But that's been done. Probably that's on the internet somewhere, so that wouldn't get through them. What would yours be? I love so many puddings. I love banoffee pie, but that's so boring. That would definitely not get past the home economist. Any kind of cheesecake. I love. That's my worst pudding, cheesecake. Sticky toffee. Yeah, I can get behind that. Again, that's been done. That I love an apple out. crumble. That wouldn't get past. I love a cookie skillet. All of these things, babe, they've been done. A cookie skillet? What if I put something really crazy in it? Like what? Diet Coke? <laughs> yeah, like Toblerone. <laughs> so wacky. Wacky, job. wacky. Toblerone and pretzel. Yeah. Oh, yum. Very good. So we can all just get our puffers on, Gosh. stay inside, not go out and watch good, good telly. I'd like to burn my puffers, actually. I'd like to burn You them. love your loo. We're going to no, burn matching Uniglo ones. Oh, yeah, that's cute. We'll do that one episode. That is cute. I'm sorry, but it's better to dress in autumn it's than not. it is in summer. It's not. Coats and layering and gorgeous, gorgeous things and big that. boots no, and... I and a chai latte. I hate Come it. on. I hope you're happy because you, that story, I thought I'm going to axe her. She is getting in the bin. Why, what have I done? The story that you said, oh, I can't wait to wear my puffer. And I thought, oh, left hook to the face. Right, left hook, right hook. I, I can't, can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> I'm Tyson Fury. Have you watched The Furies? Getting my way through Babe. it. I find it quite uncomfortable how he speaks to Paris, I'm not going to lie. I know. I'm a bit like, that woman's a saint. Uh, also, she's only about 12. Her, she's 33. Her poor ninny. She's pushed out seven children. she's pregnant. Oh, it's, that's her seventh coming out, that poor ninny. By then, you just honestly, just get a new one. Tyson, does he even punch? He literally just does one and they're out. Have you watched him He's fight? so big. It's no. insane. He's about seven foot tall. Yeah, he does this. One, and that's it. What? And then, uh, and then, uh, and then they're gone and he's just like, oh, oh boring. Whatever. Next. Five mil in the bank. More than five mil, babe. I don't 50 know what you get for five hundred. Oh, it's a lot of cash. You mad? He, do you know how much money he's worth? Let's go and find Auntie Joshua right now. That's why I said, babe. Anthony Joshua. Let's is... call Anna. Anna must know how we find him. Who's Anna? Anna Murphy! You can be talking about Anna Williamson? Why would Anna Murphy? I'm oh, sorry! I told you the whole story about Anthony Joshua. You've got amnesia. He's got he's worth fifty mil. That's how not that much. Pretty good for Anthony a man who's Joshua born in a caravan. Eighty. Eighty mil? Yeah. What I could do with eighty mil. Oh, wow. What I could do with 80 mil. What would you do if you had 80 mil? Kids charity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, get my tuberous boobs done. <laughs> I would love to build my dream house. Me too. I'd want to be on graphic first, designs. Be my first thing. Graphic? You mean grand. <laughs> I'd want to be on graphic Take designs. Two. I'd want to be on grand on the designs. MacBook with a little sketching pad. 
Yeah. What would you buy? A house. I'd build my dream house. You'd buy lots of clothes. No, I wouldn't. I'd buy lots of houses. I really would. Houses everywhere. Houses everywhere. Houses, I'd houses, buy, houses. I'd buy my parents a house. I'd buy everyone a house. Oh, gone big holly bobs. Can I just say, after you've bought a couple of houses, 80, 80 mil doesn't go very far. Much. I know. No, it does, babe. If you buy one fat house, honestly, that's 20 or 30. No, not if we're getting raw written to build oh, it. Oh, good! We're doing it on the cheap. Good. good. The materials might cost a bit, Cutting but we're corners. not going to do 20 mil. Good, yeah, okay, maybe 10. 10 mil even in London, babe, is it actually going to get you? Well, I'm not buying property in London, that's stupid. Mm, I think you will have to one day. If I had 80 mil, I might, but yeah, otherwise, no, yeah. absolutely no way. What's going to happen? We have to commute to the ITV studios every day. Huh? Are they still on South Bank? They've moved, haven't they? Where are they now? Well, they're definitely still in London, so you're going to have to live in London. No, because I'll be like Vanessa Feltz on my limousine bike. Oh, I love them. Those. Good. Well, we just chuck all our kids in the back of the van, get to school, get to the studio, and yeah. then back the other way. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, love you. Bye, love you. So I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow morning, babe, bright and early. I'm babe, not shitting with you. I swear to God, if you get there at eight, don't wake me up. Let yourself in, shut the door, and Leave the suits coffee. out then. Yeah, of course I In will. the living room. Yeah, but you don't leave. Don't you dare leave. What time is your class? What time are you going to wake up? What time is your class? 6 30, babe. Finish 7 15. Yes. I'll be at yours by eight. <sighs> What'd you I'm wake up? Nine. No! 8 15, 8 30. Oh, fine! I swear on my I tell you what, I'll jump walk. on me, I will punch you in the face. <laughs> I actually swear to God, I will spit on you. No, I'm so you. scared of you, I wouldn't even dare. I wouldn't dare. You I would wouldn't. not dare. I'd be so scared. I might throw something and then run. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, love you. See you in the morning.